Moments after the quake struck, New York State and city structural engineers fanned out to inspect infrastructure and transit systems. There were temporary closures and delays while roads, airports, tunnels and bridges were checked out. CBS 2's John Diaz has more on how they held up. He says it's safe to ride even through a small earthquake. Friday, Jenna Lieber, the MTA CEO, explaining New York City's subway system remained fully functional during a 4.8 earthquake. The service on the transit system, all aspects of the transit system, maintained continuously operating safely throughout. Lieber went on to tout the Transit Authority's emergency response skills, saying initial inspections showed there's no damage to any of its infrastructures and its bridges are built to handle this. Seven bridges operated by MTA have been uh, inspected and I want to emphasize those were designed to withstand much stronger uh, seismic impacts than we experienced today. And transit officials tell us they're still monitoring the situation, but besides checking on subway tunnels and bridges, they dispatched emergency inspectors to its vehicle tunnels. They were dispatched within about five minutes of the earthquake occurring. Um, all the preliminary results came back negative. Tunnels are very resilient for seismic impacts, so they move with the ground. While the city does a more extensive inspection, experts say an initial visual inspection is a sufficient way to ensure structures are safe. They're going to be looking for the pretty obvious visual signs, cracking, uh, debris, uh, any kind of bending, sagging, change in shape. Michael Shinoda is an assistant professor of civil engineering technology at Farmingdale State College. He says bridges and tunnels are designed to a higher standard than most buildings and homes, but... The design is going to vary based on the likelihood of an earthquake in that area, so bridges in California is going to be designed differently in terms of withstanding an earthquake than here. And experts say if you were driving on an area bridge during this earthquake, you may not have even felt it. That's because these bridges are built to be flexible. From Washington Heights, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.